everybody, and welcome back to some more Sonic the Hedgehog. It's episode 5 of this, and this is part 2 of Labyrinth Zone. I know this has to be a two-parter, but I, I couldn't put it in one video, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in another. Um, anyway, I guess back to explaining about my personal life stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really sorry about the going like pure personal right there. Uh, I tend to do that a lot of my Let's Plays, and that's just how I am, I guess. Okay, here we go again with the how I am stuff. Um, really, I don't know, I like talking about the stuff like that. I like talking about, like, like, what's going on, you know? There's one thing about me, and it comes with the fact that you kind of have to talk about... You have to have a life, I guess. Because if you don't, you can't be funny with it. Um, comedians. With comedians and stuff, you know, they tell all these wacky, weird-ass stories. We just got... Totally lag framed right there. Like, no doubt about it, that was total lag. <clears throat> Put the air bubble somewhere else. This game knows no boundaries of pain. Especially of cause on to me. Okay. But yeah, I always wanted to be a comedian growing up as a kid. Whether it be an improv or not. It's kind of funny is that actually reflected onto my Let's Play life. Because. Doing Let's Plays is technically like doing, um, improv. It's sort of. Depends on what Let's Play it is. If it's like the bus kiss, it's more than likely fake. Uh, yeah, I just said that. I don't like that guy, okay? Deal with it. Whatever. Um, he's old news. Who cares about him? If, uh, like doing Let's Plays, it, you have to be kind of... You don't have to... Okay, you don't have to make it funny. You know, not every Let's Play has to be funny. Like, that's just my personal way of doing it. I like providing, you know, comedy for you guys. Something for you guys to listen to and laugh with. You know, that's why I like talking about, like, stories and stuff like that. Because I have a lot of stories to talk about. Even though I don't really have a life, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't really have a life. I mean, I have a lot of things to do with it. Just, I don't choose to, because I'm kind of... I'm kind of... Let me explain this. I'm kind of stuck in a place right now. That it sucks. I know. It sucks. Me and my friend have an idea to kind of move in together one of these days. Just be roommates for a while and, you know, we can do our own recordings whenever we feel like it and what have you. You know, and just kind of live it up, I guess. I, you know, I'm going to try to make a life for myself. I always wanted to have one. Like, I had a lot of dreams I wanted to accomplish, but they're not, they don't look too far away now. Because there was one I accomplished in my life, and that was get off my lazy butt and get a job somewhere, and that worked out. One thing about me that I never was was lazy. I never wanted to be lazy. I don't like lazy people. I live in a house full of lazy people, and I don't like it. Procrastinators and hypocrites and what have you, liars. It just is me. I don't like... I don't like people like that. I especially don't like people. I get lied to, and I figured out that I was lied to. It's it's hell for you. If you I find out. Um. Yeah, it really, just ever since I was growing up, like especially in middle school, I started gaining a lot of self confidence in myself. Like I always called myself uh, sexy or whatever. I, I always said to myself, like, yeah, you know, you're perfect, man. You know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what people tell you. Don't worry about girls. And don't worry about anything like that. You know, and I guess, if anybody wants any information, I've never... I had a lot of friends that were girls, but I never really dated anybody. Ever. Like, seriously. Every time I tell somebody that, they're like, Oh my god, dude. How? It's like, what do you mean, how? It's just, I don't care. I never cared. I wanted to get school all the way from all that crazy. Like, dude, you're a freaking nerd. But trust me, it was worthwhile. You know, I have money, and that's all that matters. Not really. Not really. I just gonna say that you know, I at least don't have to worry about paying for somebody else besides myself, which is always nice to have. Um, then after high school, I kind of, I mean, I graduated early because I wanted to get the hell out of there. The people were ridiculous. The teachers were just, oh my god, unbearable. Like, literally, I had a teacher that was just pure unbearable. I just couldn't stand him. It was 
I never was a violent person, although I had violent tendencies or thoughts and stuff like that, but I never really was like a... I never would, you know, that was all talk. I never would do anything about it. And that comes with my self-confidence part of it. It was always about me being an all talk and no action kind of guy, and I guess I'd rather be that way. I know I say a lot of stupid things, like, you know, I'll rip your nipples off or something, like when I play Street Fighter. Oh, God, I'm running out of things to yell at. Um, I would say stupid stuff like that. I'm starting to run out of material. It kind of sucks. Wish I had some more. But that's as violent as I ever got. I always was. Just, you know, being myself. It kind of takes, I kind of take after my, my father on that bit. He's always an all-talker and that. Um, I was going to say, are they going to screw me over with this? What? But, after I got out of high school, all that self-confidence started to drift away. Like, really fast. Because, I told everybody, you know, I told my family, I said, hey, I'm not going to get a job until after I get out of school. Let me get school done with, and then I'll focus on a life for that. However that works out, you know, and what have you. And I said, okay, fine. And then after that, I looked, and it was, it started to become more of a hopeless choice. It, you know, it, oh my, fuck, you, man. It started becoming more of a, a real hopeless desire. It became, um, I, I just couldn't understand, you know, why I couldn't have job anywhere. Like, I applied, and I applied, and I applied, and everything just wouldn't work, and they were blaming me for it, and I'm like, it's not me. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying. I mean, yeah, there was chances that I did take, and I just didn't like those. You know, you, a job's a job, you know. If you don't find one you like, don't stick with it. I mean, honestly, that's just what I have to say about that. You, you know, you're being nagged out by it, you know, and you're like, you know, I, I don't like this job. Then don't do it. Fuck it, dude. Oh! Okay, that's it. You know what? I have an idea. For the rest of this episode, I'm going to do nothing. No, you know what? I'm going to skip it. I'm sick of it. I'm going to do it myself. I'm not going to record it. You guys are just going to have to deal with it yourself. And enjoy the fact that this game sucks. I'll, gi I'll give it another go, and if I don't do it, I'm just gonna say F it. I don't like cheating, but I might have to. Actually, I might not, I don't know. Knowing my sense of self pride, it's gonna be like, nope, don't do it. <laughs> but, uh, really, um, that's. I, I just constantly is being nagged out about it, you know, and I'm like, I'm doing what I can, and you guys are not letting me do it. And it really stressed me out. Then eventually, I found stuff. <laughs> the internet. Yeah, definitely the internet. I definitely found that for sure. Um, I was actually into Let's Plays way before that happened. I got out in 2012, so, you know, then I started Let's Plays during at least 2011 or 2010. Something like that along the lines. It was about like a year or two before I. Before I was freed from the prison of hell that is high school. And after all that business was taken care of, I really flushed out into like a. I can't. I don't want to say it is, but I call it as it is a depressive state of mind. Where I didn't want to do anything anymore, I didn't want anything to do with anybody anymore because they just pissed me off so much. And I couldn't take it, and I'm like, you know what, I'm done. If this is going to continue, I'm just not going to worry about it. You guys can suck my dick, you know, whatever. Whatever it would be that I would say was whatever I would say. And um, that's kind of when I started to become more of a, a violent done. Not really violent, but just, I don't know, just, I never acted out on anything, I just did it. 
now he's set. He's gone. You know what? I'm done, guys. I'm done. This game pisses me off. Can I just cheat? Just one cheat, please. Come on. This is Labyrinth Zone, guys. It's Eggman. He's easy to get past. I promise. I can do it. I know I can. I'm not going to be able to do this in five minutes. Just let me cheat it. I promise after I beat this game, I will go back and do it legitly on my own time and hopefully 100% it myself. And I will. Video proof. If I can show it, then maybe you guys are not going to let me cheat, are you? You dirty little bastards are not going to let me do that. I can just feel it now. You guys are giving that glare like, don't you even try, Alex. You are promising to do this game legitly, and you're going to do it legitly. No. No. I'm done. I'm done. This game wins. This game wins. Kill me. This game wins. It wins. It, there's nothing I can do. I'm going to do it. I'm tired of it. I gotten to that part like so many times and now it's just like I need to skip it. What's the next place? Starlight Zone I think? Yeah, Starlight Zone is next. I will see you guys next episode when I start off Starlight Zone which would be a kind of a blind. You know, I actually think is I've seen this level before. I can't put my finger on it. I just can't. I know I've seen it before. I've seen them all. I just I feel like I've played this one before. Sure I have. Fuck Eggman. The thing about Eggman is he's actually not a fight. It's more like you just... You get past it. You don't actually have to fight him. You just climb up that place and you win. So, we'll pretend like I won. Yeah. Uh, see you guys later. So, bye.